Hey guys, what's up? I know it's been a super long time since we made a video, like two or three months. And there's no real reason for that. It's not like we've been busy or anything. I don't know, we just kind of, it's not, we're not that interested in it anymore, but we just had to make a new video because, well, I'm bored and I have nothing better to do. And I figured why not. And I needed to, need to re jailbreak my iPod because I had some problems with it. So this video is going to show you how to jailbreak the iPod Touch and iPhone or iPhone 3G and iPod 2G uh, 2.2.1 firmware it's just as simple as all the other jailbreaks pretty much the same uh, it's the same exact thing pretty much it's still with QuickPwn you don't want to go to QuickPwn.com to download it I'm sure you know how to do that if you don't know I'll actually show you right now go to QuickPwn.com Q U I C K P W N dot com and then click the download page. And from there, you just pick which one Windows or Mac. Point each tool, you probably don't want to do that, it's super slow and it's bullshit, it's terrible. Also, this website's pretty cool, there's all the uh, firmwares here. Over here where my arrow's at. I like pretty much every firmware there is. Alright, so after that's done, you should not download it, and you should get a zip folder like this, and once you unzip it or whatever, but you probably, if you're using Vista like me, you probably need a program to unzip it, so I recommend Power Art Driver, that's the program I use to unzip all my files and they work fine, I don't use WinMark, so I think that's the stupidest program ever, and Windows should just have a program built in that everybody unzips files for you, but it doesn't, so, okay, once you open quick pull, make sure your iPod is plugged in, and it's just connected via the USB like it says okay of course during the video it's not responding now okay there it goes it should automatically find the uh, firmware on your computer you don't need to download it separately it'll find it th through iTunes you can have iTunes open I have as you can see I it will should actually it should close iTunes for you and you just click that and it'll recognize your device and you'll let it do its thing a little bit after you click that and there's a check mark here put the Blue arrow pointing to the right. All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna clearly you're gonna want to add Cydia. If you don't add Cydia, there's really no point of jailbreaking. And you, I guess you just should install. I guess you're gonna want to install it also. But if you want the pineapple boot logo, click this button. If not, then don't. I I really don't want it, so I'm not going to get it. Okay. Make sure your device is connected. Like, actually, don't just bullshit this and say okay, it's connected. Actually, make sure it's connected fully. Just check the sides in the USB. Alright, so now this is the tough part. So it should connect in recovery mode. And hold the home button down for 5 seconds. And home and power for 10 seconds together. It'll guide you through this very easily. This is very simple. Whatever happens to your screen, it's fine. Release the power and hold the home button for 30 seconds. But it's really not 30 seconds, it's really only like 10. It'll say you can let go of it and just wait for it if you don't get it first try it's okay sometimes you won't um, when I first did it I didn't get it first try you can do it as many times as you want until you get it just keep holding the home button as you can see it just finished so you can now release the home button if you would if you want to you don't have to but you should you shift it. So if you see a blank white screen on your iPod, it's very bright. That's that's regular. That's fine. Just set your iPod down. Don't really mess with it while it's doing something. While it's doing this, leave that alone. Also, while I'm waiting for this, uh, gonna start answering more of your questions. I haven't answered any of you guys, any of your guys' questions in a long, long time, in like two or three months. But I'm gonna start answering all of them now. Also. Uh, that's about it. We're gonna make a new video. Uh, I either make it. You're gonna make it later tonight, or I'm gonna wait to make it. Um, I'm actually probably gonna make it tomorrow or Friday or over the weekend. I'm not sure. It's just gonna be how to get a five icon dock. Not five icon dock. Five icon dock. Five row. Five columns on your iPod Touch home screen or your iPhone home screen, and five rows too. So it's like instead of four by four, it's gonna be five by five, or six by five actually, if you include the dock. So, pretty much you just wait, leave your iPod alone for a little bit. Alright, now your iPod is going to reboot in its new modified state. 
once you get this message. If you don't get this message, just do it all over again. And also, sorry, I forgot to mention this. Before you do this, you must restore your iPod to the regular iTunes newest firmware. So the newest firmware that's out, install it to that. Uh, not install, restore it to that, which is 2.2.1 as of now, but I'm sure there's rumors about 3.0 coming out. I think it's supposed to be released in June, somewhere in mid-June, but I'm sure they're going to delay it, so it's not probably not going to come out until July. And that's pretty much it. Also, uh, my other, the other Apple over here got an iPod Touch 2G. So now we have two iPod Touches and one uh, second generation. And that's pretty much it. You're just going to wait for your iPod to finish up. And I guess I'll wait a little bit. And you should see a bunch of different pictures on your iPod and a loading bar that's blue. It should go from installing bundles and a bunch of different things. Don't worry about it. It's fine. And that's basically it. If you have any uh, video suggestions, write them on our, on our page. Or email us for a website. We have a website that we use. Uh, I'll put it in the description with a video about it too. I'll do some app reviews if you guys want or whatever. I don't really care anything. And that's about it. Alright, mine just finished. It says rebooting and it should reboot and be jailbroken. So I'm just going to wait for this to start up now. It should not take that long. And sorry about how across the screen it's going to say my screen recorder uh, demo. Uh, yeah, I'll get a, different, a better screen recording program soon. So don't worry about that. And my iPod is just uh, still. I see the Apple sign now, so I guess it's turning on. You should get this pop up now that iTunes recognized your iPod. My my iTunes is probably gonna reopen. You don't have to get that pop up; it's just for my computer for some reason. This also works with Mac. Just do the same exact thing. Just download the program for Mac at QuickPhone.com. And that's about it. All right. So mine just turned on, and I have city install and everything I put on, and that's about it. Your iPod may take a little longer to, uh, a little longer or a little shorter, to um, load, uh, turn back on, but it's fine. And yeah, that's about it. So I guess I will see you guys in my next video, and also make sure you subscribe. And if you have any video suggestions, please leave them in the description box. Also, this jailbreak, you need, I already said, you need to be restored to a regular 2.2.1 firmware or the newest firmware. And after this, I got, I still have all the apps I had that I previously had to the, before I restored it. So I got every single thing I had back, even my old videos and stuff. I got those, my all my music's back on here, everything you had from your old jailbreak. Or if you're just jailbreak for the first time, everything you had before that will still, in fact, be on there. Even from the videos to your notes to your smallest little pictures or songs or everything will be on there. And that's about it. So make sure you subscribe. If you have comment, if you have uh, questions, comment or message us. Video suggestions also uh, put in the comment box uh, and message us. So that's about it.